I'm saying. Are you a Washington University employee? <laughs> She's thinking. Uh, I'm a teaching assistant. Yeah, so you're staff. You're the staff of Washington University. <laughs> you're Washington Are University staff? Are you the guy staff? that writes defamatory and libelous matter about private citizens all over the internet? Oh, no. Wow. I don't know who a guy like that. I think that's actually a member of the Tea Party. No, I don't believe it. I, think that, I know some people who write defamatory and libelous stuff. It's Dana Lash, Jim Hall, Bill Harris. No, I remember you're the guy. Do you use Washington University resources to go and attack and defame and libel private citizens? No, that was a very clever attempt at trying to scare people. Because what you do to private citizens is a smear tactic. You stalking private citizens, which is a violation of Missouri's cyber stalking law, by the way, to cyber bully people anonymously. Oh, why do you cite the law that shows that I'm stalking? I don't know what you're talking about. You, you, have a you follow law people and online and you defame and libel them. And you stalk people because you desperately want 15 minutes no, of fame yeah, and you yeah, think that that's the way to achieve it. I, don't I have care never about seen anyone try to fillet Eric Bowler the way that you do so often. Uh -huh. And I am shocked that you actually You're finally showed look up. Good I'm really, you know, I'm doing such a, you know, I'm being so No, mean. I know. I look incredibly well because you are someone who likes to be little and defame and libel no. private citizens. You have, you have even stalked my mom. You have even stalked you women online on blogs. blogs. It's a blog and you post it on your public information. It's not stalking. It's called freedom of speech. No, you know you it's not freedom of speech to defame Why are you people? afraid to respond to a citizen responding because you are to your idiotic Because you're a modern reader and you're not worth it. What? You are not worth it. All you do is defame okay, and libel. But you're so scared that you call it stalking. I'm scared. Oh, that's why I'm right here. Someone else expressing that's why I'm right here. Opinion. Is that why I'm right here? No. Yeah, you're, but you're scared. You try to like shut it I down. I just asked you, try you to shut down for your identity, and you were hesitant to give it. Well, because I'm a teacher. I'm right here. So it's not staff. Oh, it's that's not, right. Like, you try to come staff. after my job, but it's it's not cool if people try to go after your job. Is that no, what it is? No, you try to incite payola situations and all kinds of stuff. Well, but you're the guy who works at Washington you have University. that Ed Martin gave your husband's business five thousand dollars. You know what? That's the National Black like Caucus that. did too. So should does that mean I'm in the pocket for the National Black Caucus? If you were going to talk about him on air, you should have. Yes, it. they actually did documentaries there. So did you forget if you about that? Talk about it on to air, me? You should. Did you, you should forget about that? It. I'm waiting for the apology. Do you not I actually talked about it on air. I do so more than you. Good. So then you would understand that if you're talking about something that's a conflict of interest. So you did should, you not hear you the show? When did I? When? How was it a conflict of interest? It was on your blog. You never said anything. Explain about to me how blog. using the university's taxpayer-funded resources to attack private citizens is not a conflict. Well, that's ask me if I did that. And I wait, 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 wait. So you're fighting about each other, not about policy. No, he won't fight about policy. Will you fight about policy? Uh, we'll talk to her about policy then? Yes, so sure. Bring up policy then. I don't know, bring something up. You have a lot of criticisms, but you attack us personally. You never go after the merits of our ideas. I, I, I do. Do. Yeah. The merits of the time. Give me an example. You can, you no, 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 back up. Give me an example. Don't go on your semantics. Give me an example. No, 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 we're not doing smear. Talk to me about policy. Stop the ad hominem attacks. Talk to me about policy. Okay, so thousands of people are dying out here because they don't have health insurance. And you're taking this ridiculous agenda where you guys... Why are thousands of people dying? Like on the street, like because... Because they can't afford private insurance. It's also going up so much. Uh, because insurance companies are free. Explain to me how it's constitutionally appropriate to force people by nature to be a citizen in this country to buy because a product. That's the from interpretation of the Constitution that's been going for a long time that says that it's stuff for the Explain to me how. No, no, no. No, no, no. You're bastardizing the Congress Post. Explain to me how in the Constitution it provides. Let me answer my question. Let me, let, me, let me ask my question. Explain to me how the Constitution says that people have the, that the government has the right to force people by nature being citizens in this country. To buy a product from the government. It's the same. It's the same thing as people being forced to buy. No, wrong. Car insurance is a state issue. How government is entitled to mandate people to buy health insurance? The government mandates all kinds of things for the same good good. How is no the Commerce Clause? That's that's a misunderstanding. You guys are operating under a very if, you, if that was true, why would you be worried about why it? Is it because it's just why do you believe that it's okay for the government to answer your question? I answer, I answer, I answer, I answer, you, still still legal, not, you still haven't answered my question. If it's against the Congress rules and therefore the Constitution, you don't have billions of people who are more challenged. It should. I don't know. We have people like Mom taking these rights away to be able to choose. I actually agree with him on that. I'm sorry to say that. 
I see, I would like to pay my own way. I don't want the government to tell me that I have to not only pay my way, but I have to pay my own It's a mandate. It is a mandate. It is a law. With a penalty, you pay a fine. No, you don't personally. No, 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 no. It kicks in. Yes, it does. It kicks in. It kicks in in 2014. Do I have to go I read it. 2014, it kicks in. It kicks in 2014. Where in the Constitution does it say that? No, that is not. Commerce Clause regulates, regulates interstate commerce. This is not regulating interstate commerce. This is forcing people to buy a product. I'm sorry, that's the dominant interpretation. It's not the dominant interpretation. 70% of Americans don't agree with it. The health care. That's a law. That's not agreeing whether it's digital or not. I've been following polls from the spring of last year. 70% of Americans don't agree with it. It was close. 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 It we're talking about millions and millions of Americans. Rasmussen, Rasmussen, Zogby, Quinnipiac, Pew Research Center, Gallup. And they didn't say 70%, they just read Rasmussen's poll. The latest Rasmussen poll is 35. The majority of Americans do not support this. A small majority do not support the bill. That's not the bill. I've been blinking this and following this for like four years. And I know what it means, but I think the poll game is a very strange game. It's not a poll game. Why is it that the left always tries to discount polling data when it doesn't go in favor of it? I don't speak for the left. I'm not the left. I believe I'm a moderate. If you want to label I'm an independent. And not listen to some of our different I know. I'm not. I'm asking you a question. I'm not labeling you. I'm asking you a question. Why is it that people want to discount polling data when it doesn't support their data? When are you going to get a job? Oh, I think graduate already. Is, what is, what I think each wrong? side of the game tries to use polling data, kind of like a foil, kind of like our point down says this, our point down says that. Well, the morning towers are snapshots of time, and a certain amount of people. What is wrong about people program. wanting to pay their own way? Regardless of the poll or not, where in the U.S. Constitution not, does it give anybody the federal government the right to take our money from us? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter.